Gundam style up in here on the base, transcribed to base. It's actually, a, it's a totally crazy viral video, right? But it's actually pretty fun to play on, uh, on base. So I'm gonna show you, it's got those crazy slides in there, right? But I'll show you a version that doesn't have that if you don't wanna do all those slides. And um, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be easy to learn and you're gonna love it. Anyway, I'm Finbar of Finbar Base. All right, so what are those lessons all about down there when you click in the YouTube text box right down there? You should definitely do that if you haven't already. There are some really fun lessons uh, for beginners on there. There's one for intermediate, for more advanced players. Uh, for instance, there is a lesson on the floating thumb technique, right? Which is a cool right hand, or actually a uh, plucking hand technique, I should say. If you're lefty, it'll be your left hand. Right hand, righty, it'll probably be your right hand. But it's a way to mute the strings out, to keep your hand in a natural position. It's the way that I play bass. I love it a lot. It's not the only way, of course, but these tips and tricks can kind of catapult you sort of like into the next level, make your playing sound more professional and make those notes really ring out. Um, it's helped a lot of people out. And that's just one of the lessons, you know, that's just an example. But it's basically, again, about, you know, having fun, getting better on the bass and playing some music. All right, so what is going on here in this crazy song? First, you're going to do a slide, right? And again, I'll show you how to do it, just if you just want to do it without the slides, but to make it more sound like the song and kind of sound like that, that moving sort of uh, heaving in and out, wave-like synthesizer sound. You're gonna do a slide from uh, really nowhere. You're just gonna slide up the entire E string, this top string right here. But you're gonna land right here on the uh, seventh fret of the E string, right? Just like that. All right. Trying to figure out actually where I'm sliding from. It's hard. It's not a, not really an exact science, especially when you're, you know, when you're playing. Anyway, you're gonna slide up to that seventh fret, and then you're gonna hit this ninth fret of the D string. You're gonna hit that twice, just like that, right? You got slide, and you're gonna hit there uh, twice. And then you're gonna slide, same like you slid on the E string, you're gonna slide on the D string, all the way up the string to that uh, ninth fret again. So you got, and then hit that ninth fret twice, right? You slid up to it, and then you hit it one more time. And then hit that 12th fret right there of the uh, D string, just like that. So you got, See that? And then you're gonna slide again to that seventh fret of the E string, right? Right? So what you're doing is you're sliding up to the seventh fret of the E string, and in actuality, you're hitting this ninth fret of the uh, D string again three times down to the seventh fret on the D string, ninth fret on the A string now, right? And then seventh fret on the A string. Right, that's a little pattern. You'll see all the time in music, but anyway, uh, I'll do it slow. Slide again. And that's it. Just like that. Now, if you don't want to do those slides at all, so see, you just keep your hand on the seventh fret right over here. Hit that twice. And you can do this little slide right here. Back to the seventh fret, three times. And then you go and down just like that, so. Just like that. There you have it, yo. Gundam style without dancing.
Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, once again, don't forget to click on the YouTube text box right down there. Get those free videos if you haven't already. Other than that, I am Finbar of Finbar Vase. And have fun with that one, yo. I know you will.